Louisiana high school students tricked into attending sick religious event. This is crazy. And this is another instance of like, America, what the hell is happening? Um, recently, high school students at the East Baton Rouge Parish School in a Louisiana school district were told that they would attend a college and career fair, but were surprised to arrive at a church. School administrators told students that they would attend a career fair called Day of Hope instead of meeting college, colleges and companies for a possible career fair. Students were sent to a church called Living Faith Christian Center. The students were then segregated by male and female, disregarding an individual's gender identity, and were forced to register to vote in order to receive the advertised free food. Brittany Bryant, a biology teacher who stayed with the students, said that the boys were instructed to go outside while the girls were left in the church for girl talk. Speakers at the event talked about RAPE, I can't say the word because of YouTube, um, forgiving the perpetrator of assaults. Uh, R I? Okay, R A P E. Oh, did I spell it wrong? God yes. damn my <laughs> dyslexia. That's embarrassing. It's a, it's um, a good, <laughs> Talking Didn't about forgiving the, <laughs> the forgiving the perpetrators of assaults, um, self deletion. Again, I cannot say the word because of YouTube. Prayer leadership and many more other dark, controversial topics. The Freedom from Religion Foundation, or FFRF, criticized the school for tricking its students into undergoing a devastating experience. In response to the traumatizing event paid for by taxpayer dollars, a group called Day of Nope is seeking legal action. So um, here's the thing. We, okay, I, I, will, I will give an overview. Previously, so this school district has begun partnering with an explicitly religious group called 2911, which is a reference to um, a Bible verse, I think maybe in Jeremiah, I can't remember. And they were supposed to be sponsoring this career fair, college fair for students. And it was supposed to bring together high school seniors from different schools across the district together for this event. And they were bussed in. And when they were bussed in, they discovered that they were at a church. And then there was apparently very little actual college and career resources available there. There were some that were outside of this church, but then mostly they were ushered into the auditorium of the church and preached at. And then after some time, they were split into girls versus boys and the girls were inside the auditorium and they were forced to go through this like girls talk where this woman talked about how basically she was like trying to date around and she ended up dating this guy who attempted to strangle her and then she was like too ashamed or agreed to date him in secret and how if she had just trusted in god's plan to find the right person for her then this wouldn't have happened to her and then there was another woman who talked about basically finding the body of her son like after his self-deletion in like great detail about what it actually looked like and then there was a different dude who started talking about how he was paralyzed when he was like nine years old and then was able to start walking again and then went to jail for like a violent crime like just crazy crazy stuff students were like sobbing in the bathrooms because of just the the graphic nature of what was being told to them and how there wasn't consideration to maybe like the closeness of those events happening within the personal lives of those students and um then if I've, I've seen a copy of the flyer that was given to the students there's nothing on this flyer that mentions that this is religiously affiliated in any way there's nothing on this flyer that says this will be at a church it advertises free food like apparently I said, they were forced to attend a, um, they were forced to register to vote to be able to get the free food that was advertised on the flyers. And there was actually like really not 
that much of the resources that were advertised to them. While the girls were inside being subjected to conversations about how you should forgive the people that do non-consensual things to you, the boys were outside being told to, like, do push-ups for rewards. Like, it's so bizarre. And then at the end, they were invited, like, you can either leave right now, or if you want to come and be saved, then come to the front of the, the stage, blah, blah, blah. And at which point, one of the students that was interviewed was like, no, I've had enough of this. I'm getting out. I'm leaving right now. Like, um, yeah, this is all facilitated by the school. And the school district has, like, reiterated that they are working with this organization to seemingly provide, yeah, career resources to their students. It's absolutely insane. And so the, the group called Day of Nope has already raised over $10,000 to fund their uh, legal battle, their legal expense, because they're going to sue. They're desperate, oh. right? Like the fact that they have to, you know, they know that their programs are not popular if they have to trick people into it. Anyways. This is actually an Armin. Like this is, this is a captive audience. You got cut for a sec. Oh. You said it's a captive audience. Are you back? There we go. We're, you're back. Susie? Yes, now I can hear you. Okay, good. You were saying? Yeah. You were saying it's a captive audience? Oh, no, that was basically all I had to say. It was... Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, that's an important point. These are children, and they're, they are in a, a context of a school setting where they're answerable to adults. Yeah. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.